Today I'm joined by Mike Chaplin, who is Technical Director with Clayton Ellerfield. Hi Mike. Morning, Mike. Hi. I was hoping you could um, start by telling us a little bit more about Clayton Ellerfield and what your business is all about. Well, Brian, our, our company is, is a very specialist company. We provide museum showcases uh, for sort of larger institutions um, all around the world. One of our product ranges, or one of the divisions of our business, deals with demountable showcases. And part of what that addresses is the need to re reuse cases again and again for museums who do temporary exhibitions and things like that. So the whole focus of this division is about you know, our sort of environmental policy. And so this really fitted in with what we were already doing with our recycling work and the reuse of these cases by letting us analyse our sort of energy needs. And then you add to that the problems with rising energy costs and the need to make the business more efficient. You know, it was all just the timing was all just right for us. What possible solutions did you look at when you were um, investigating um, how you could solve this problem? We sort of approached you know, our utility company um, because some of them have some solutions which are available. But um, what they offered was a, a quite sort of limited, usually sort of end of month information and really sort of very dry sort of database statistics which didn't really suit the needs that we had. What, what made you choose meteorology for your solution? When we looked at the, the approach for the software, we found the software very intuitive, easy to use, and really the, what we felt was going to be um, important for us was being able to work with the existing setup we had, so we weren't going to have major you know, sort of capital expenditure to install the system. And how well is it working for you now? It's very good, actually. I, I, you know, I do quite a bit of travelling with the business. And one of the things I do is when I'm abroad, I look to see if we're doing, you know, sort of overtime night shifts. But it's been a real learning curve for us just seeing what our usage is at any point in time. And, you know, sort of that bit of detective work to sort of find out like, what's causing it. There's been some very sort of simple, easy things that we've been able to do to reduce our energy usage. All because we've been able to identify that there was an issue there in the first place. And that's something that you weren't able to do before you put the meteorology system in? No, I think we've all got experience of receiving an electricity bill at the end of end of the month they went all that high, but having no means to actually analyse it. So what was involved in the installation? That was very straightforward, I was quite pleased with that element of it. Um, we had to install some um, thingies over the cables, that's a technical term for it, and then feed that back to the actual monitoring unit. Was there a need for a lot of cabling associated with the system? No, really just one network point, so that was one of our guys just ran that ourselves. Yeah. And was it expensive? No, we, we um, were actually quite pleased with it, with the cost. I, you know, I don't like to say that it was cheap, but it, you know, it was a low-cost solution that actually gave us you know, what we wanted. And, and is this being used by other people in the organisation, or is it just confined to yourself? No, with the, with the meteorology system, you can actually let several users be involved in that process. And what we've found is that you know, our managers within the business, you know, they're quite competitive by nature. And they want to beat the energy usage that we've yeah. got, so it gives them the tool um, to do that. It's a very easy system to use. Um, you know, so you log in, and you know the information is there. You can graph it by, you know, per day or over a period of time, so you can actually see the patterns of usage and things as well. But very intuitive. Thank you.